Let's take a look at how to create a presentation using Sway. So the first thing we're going to do is open our web browser, Chrome, and navigate to the class link button on the LCISD webpage. Once you're there, enter your username and password to sign in. If you don't have your username and password, you can get that from your teacher. After you've logged into ClassLink, go ahead and choose the Office 365 app. There's lots of tools inside Office 365. You're going to start by clicking the App Launcher in the top left-hand corner and choose Sway. Once Sway opens, it's opening a brand new tab, so you can go back to Office 365 at any time. In Sway, there's three places to start, from a template, from the sways that you've already created in the center or towards the top you can click create new or start from a topic or you can actually upload um, a document, an outline of a document. So we're going to go ahead and click create new and then in the top left hand corner I want you to notice there's two uh, views. We've got storyline view to add content and design view which will change the look and feel, the fonts and whatnot of your presentation. Start by giving your presentation a title, so I'm going to name my box turtles, and I can click the little plus on this card anytime to add additional content. Click the image placeholder to open up the search panel, and the search panel will open up on the right hand side of your page, and once it does, you can enter a keyword in the top right hand corner, so I'm going to enter box turtles. And then if you click the magnifying glass, it will start your search. And um, your search results will come in the bottom of the panel there. You can select any of the images you find there and then choose Add. That will add the image to your presentation. Click the drop down arrow next to Suggested to choose a different source for your images. You can even upload from your own computer there. You can also sort what appears there. You can choose videos um, if you would like to insert a video. So you can see my picture has come in onto my card. I'm ready to add an additional heading. So I'm going to click the plus and choose heading. And I'm going to name this one Habitats. Then I'm going to add another heading. So this is another one of my main points. And I'm going to name this one Nutrition. And an additional heading, I'm going to name it Adaptations. And you can see up above, I've misspelled the word Nutrition. If I right click on top of that word, I'm able to choose the correct spelling right there. And I could tell it was misspelled because it had that little red squiggly underline. I'm ready to add more images. So again, I click on the placeholder and uh, come up to my search box and I'm going to um, search for pond and it's coming up here. Here's some images of ponds that I might want to use and I can select my photo and I can either hit add or I can just drag directly onto the card where I want that image to go. Then I can add additional text underneath my heading by clicking the plus sign and choosing text and I'm going to add some text here and I can emphasize that text if I want and I can choose the degree over on the right hand side how big or how much emphasis I want or I can get rid of the box altogether by clicking the little trash can. Finally I can move this card to an entirely new location whenever I've got that little four headed arrow as my cursor. Now if I want to take a I want to preview what my presentation looks like. I'm going to click the play button and here I can use the navigation tools in the bottom right hand corner to navigate from left to right um, through this presentation because it's set up horizontally. So I'm going to go one more card over and then up in the top right hand corner if I want to go back to editing the storyline I click that little pencil. Here I can choose to accent some words if I like, that's basically just uh, putting them in italics. And there I go. I am moving the heading nutrition up to the top so that it's first. I just click and drag to do that. And I can add some pictures of some leafy vegetables and some additional text here. 
And let me add another little tiny fish. Now, if you have a place on the picture that you really want to make sure Sway focuses in on, you can choose the picture and choose focus points. Then you just click on your picture, whatever the important part of the picture is. Um, to get out of focus points, just click anywhere else on the storyline. There I can add, so make sure that my the face of my turtle shows up in my Sway. Then I can go to the design portion of my Sway design view and up in the top right hand corner I can change the style if I like. That's going to adjust the font and the, the directionality whether my presentation goes up and down or from left to right. So there's lots of different styles to choose from and as soon as you click on one you can see that it's changing the font and the colors and things like that. Um, you can preview it right there and I can remix my sway if I want. That's just going to put a whole different spin on things. And a lot of times I just like to hit that and see what it looks like. Hit it again, see what it looks like. Then when I've got it where the fonts, I like the fonts and stuff, I can choose whether I want my sway to go vertically up and down or horizontally left to right. Here I'm previewing what my sway looks like. And you can see that I've put a video in this sway, and right here directly in the sway, um, the user, whoever's looking at my presentation, uh, they can click on the video and watch it right there in my sway. Once I click on the little edit button to go back to storyline view, if I'm happy with my sway, I'm ready to share. Now, once you're sharing, the, the link is right there and you get to choose. Do you want the people to be able to view your sway or do you want them to be able to edit your sway? And that's a big difference. Once you've decided, click the little copy button and that will copy your link. You've got that link, it's kind of on your clipboard. You're not even gonna really know where it is, but your computer knows. And then I can share it through email. So I'm going to go back to Office 365, and I'm going to open my app launcher and go to my mail application. So once my mail opens, I can click New, because this is going to be a new message. And I'm going to send it to my teacher. So I'm going to choose my teacher's name there. And I'm going to add a subject. And my subject is my presentation on box turtles. And then I'm just putting the message in here. And if I right click, I can choose paste and that will paste in the link and it will automatically populate with a little preview. Once I'm ready, I can go ahead and hit send and send my presentation to my teacher. Um, and then if I want, I can click the Sway tab at the top of my browser and return to Sway. Or if I like, I can click on my name in Office 365 and choose sign out.